Wash your hands, we're being told. Keep surfaces clean. Use hand sanitizer. Stay two meters away from each other. But how do you stop coronavirus in a refugee camp? Refugee and migrant camps are a ticking time bomb for a coronavirus outbreak, and very few of them more so than Moria in Lesbos in Greece, where 18,000 people are living in a facility that was built for 3,000. We can't travel to Moria. Greece has a quarantine in place for visitors, and we don't want to risk bringing the virus there. But a group of young filmmakers have sent us this footage. Here are some water taps. There is no water inside it. There is no water. Yasser is 18. He's been here for five months. And here, and the tractors are right next to them, so it's disgusting. In the few hours that people have access to water, and at that time it's overcrowded, and there's some so many long queues to use the water, and there's are some other toilets. Some of the previous ones are not as usable, and people have no good access to doctor because because about the crowding and they have no access to gloves, masks to prevent themselves from virus corona and <laughs> while the rest of Europe is being told to stay home people here have to crowd around a truck to get a limited supply of drinking water every day they have to queue for food and like everywhere else in Europe, the shops in the island of Lesbos are running out of soap and cleaning products. That shortage will hit the camp hard. And this is the shower of the mains. And as you can see, it's really, really dirty. It's waiting in the long queues for taking the shower. And here is the same as the shower. A small group of people living here are doing whatever they can to try to prepare for an outbreak. Dean Mohammed is a pharmacist from Afghanistan. The WHO says cotton masks aren't very effective, but at least it's something. So this is our factory, and these are our volunteers. Hello, guys. Medicine Sans Frontiers, who are working here, are preparing for the worst. And do you worry that when, as governments are dealing with this pandemic, that refugees or migrants might be left behind? Yes, the, that's, the, that's the big worry. If people are becoming uh, sick, uh, we know they should be in self-isolation, and this is just impossible in, in Moya. So it's, a, it's a, the worst setup that you could have, and, um, and if the outbreak uh, starts in Moya, it's going to be uh, extremely difficult to contain. The Greek government say they're setting up isolation containers, but MSF worry it's not enough. They're calling on the government to evacuate sick and elderly people to a place with better health facilities. Meanwhile, people here do what they can to keep the virus out.